Welcome to Tip Tuesday with Rocky Mountain Sewing and Vacuum. I'm Megan, and this week I wanted to talk to you guys about something that I've been using a lot lately, which is Swedish tracing paper. Personally, I've been using the Swedish tracing paper a lot because I did just have a newborn, and of course, being the seamstress that I am, I obviously want to make him some clothes, so one of the projects I have for Christmas this year is matching pajama pants, and I figured I would show you guys why this is so nice while I'm doing that. A lot of um, patterns and things come with multiple sizes or come with different options and things like that. So it's really nice to have some sort of tracing paper so that you can only trace out the one that you want. So since he is pretty young, he's still in newborn three month clothes because he's only two months old right now, I want to trace the smallest size instead of having to cut it out and waste the pattern for when he gets older. So with the Swedish tracing paper, there's one other thing that I love about it too. You can actually sew on this. So if you like making a muslin mock of whatever you're working on, what is so nice about the Swedish tracing paper is you can trace out the size you want, you can cut it out, you can stitch it and see if it works for you. And if it doesn't, then you can adjust it from there. And it ends up being a little more cost efficient than muslin or things like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and spread this over my pattern. Doop do. There you go. And another thing that I've become a huge fan of is going to be pattern weights. So I can bring these guys and put them down. You'll notice some of them are curved, which is perfect to put on like the inseam of a pant. Some are straight so that I can put them right on the lines here. Whoops. If I don't throw it, some of them are more right angled. So I can do that. Oops. A little past the newborn size. There we go. And then I'm going to do this last one. When I do use tracing paper, a lot of times I like to use a marking pen. My favorite tend to be the Frixion ones because they iron away afterward. And what is so cool about these is after I get this all put out, I cut it out, I can use that same pen and mark in the exact same spot. And that way when I put my garment together or whatever I'm working on, I can make sure that the points that they've marked are perfect. So I'm gonna go ahead and trace this. And with that, I have traced out my pattern for the newborn size, ready to go. When you do cut Swedish tracing paper, I think that you'd be fine to use your fabric scissors, but I personally like to use my paper scissors, just because I don't want those suckers to get dull at all, because I use them too much. But after that, you just cut out your pattern, you put it on your fabric, you cut it out, and then you are good to go. Unless you want to try the fit, then you cut out your pattern, sew it together, see if it fits, adjust, and then you go from there. So I hope this was a little bit informative about how Swedish tracing paper can make your life easier when you're following a pattern. Check it out at our stores. And other than that, I hope you have a great week.